Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, thank you, Datu. Uh, thank you to all our beloved Prof, Prof uh, or Prof Anis, uh, Dr. Isham, and our beloved uh, Prof Ibrahim Zain. Uh, all of you, I've just, uh, uh, I was very, very impressed with uh, all of these uh, good words and good uh, thoughts about uh, Prof Malik Badri. Uh, I was uh, more touched with uh, the last uh, uh, things that uh, Prof. Dr. Fatima spoke about him. I had a chance to, to live with him, and I had a chance to be loved by him. And we had a time to talk to him a few months ago uh, before he fell sick. And while he was sick, that he said, I just want to talk to Samuel. He always to me as a model. I was, when I joined UIA with uh, Prof. Anis those days, I was dean, I have taken Prof. Malik as a real father for me. He was that person I would refer to for whatever I did in Malaysia. Grateful to IUM, grateful to Malaysia and Malaysian people for the good times that we spend in IUM. IUM made it for us an occasion to meet such a great human being like Prof. Malik Badri. Uh, I think people might be talking about his uh, uh, scholarship in, as far as this psychology is concerned, but I would just like to talk about something which is about the spirituality of this Prof. Malik. It's true that we are in Islamic uh, studies field, but we learned a lot from Prof. Malik Badri. He was real Murabi, as Dr. Fatima mentioned. I did say, and I see whenever that there was a problem. We used to meet, I used to see him almost every day because he just, the office was just next to the mosque of IUM. If you really wanted to look, you wanted to see Prof. Malik, you do not need to go to the office, just get to the mosque. At the prayer, for as a prayer especially, I, I could say he never missed it in IUM. You will see him over there with rosary he was having. I did ask him one day, I said, Prof, with the, regardless of your age, you know, your, your head is shining. And always you see in your face something like a nose is coming out. Where did what, what this one come from? He showed me this subha he was having. He said, I'm living with this rosary all the time. My son... Well, D, I'm telling you, never ever miss your the prayer, the dua, the adhkar. Keep on on and do it at all the time. Whenever you are free, just do this one. But as a prophet, you are not, you know, people are not, you know, everybody is asking you, you're not aging, actually. Knowing your age and all the things, they would just say this. They say, no, nothing. I want to be very close and I'm always trying to be close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day he came to see me at the office. I used to say in office very late, sometime like 10 o'clock p.m., 11 o'clock. He came and found me one time after Maghrib prayer, after the prayer. He said, my son, what are you doing here? I said, Prof, I have a lot of unfinished work over here. He, talk, he, he stood up and he told me when he was in the Lister University, one of his professors took him one day. And he took him in his car. They went to the graveyard. And then he told him, Mary Prophet told him, why you are bringing me to this place? He said, you see, all of these people are staying here. They are living here. They all came over here with unfinished job. From now onwards, by six letters, you must go home. You shouldn't stay here anymore. You have to be back home. I'm worried. Your brain, your things, your top, you have to make, take care of these things. Sanu, have you heard what I'm telling you? I see yes, Prof. Thank you very much. It was, for me, a reference. And once to have any psychology or any difficulty, any, any difficult moment or difficult time, Prof. Malik was something to me as a, that, a reference I'm going to go for. So for this side, you could see 
He was giving us all this lecture. I used to enjoy his talk. The book, I'm very glad that he talked, he finished it about the Jawani Bil Atifiyah Fi Hayat Al Anbiya. We did talk about it one day. He told me, I want to just discuss and say, we're talking about Sayyidina Musa, the prophet of Musa. He told me, I have so many things about Sayyidina Musa. Whenever I read the Quran, but I'm a little bit worried about the environment. When I would start talking about this, people not get it properly. They might be thinking that I'm saying something about the prophets. I tell him, Prof, if you could do it, why not? We'll be very glad to learn from you and to hear. And he was giving some of this interpretation and explanation of what is happening for this thing. So today we have missed and we have lost this great man. What would left, uh, he left to us with what? With this role model that he was. He used to be to all of us a father. I'm saying father, I do mean what does it mean father to me? And to all of our brothers and sisters, those people who are living with him, Prof. Dr. Hisham has mentioned that all of them, they have said the history of Dr. Tunji, Dr. Ahmed, and all of this, it was a great chance for Malaysia to have a learned scholar, to have such kind of human being who never seen him angry at all. For more than 16 years with him in Prof. Malik Batri, he was always smiling. Even sometimes the situation is a very, very, very tough. He would be just like, say, it's okay, Sano, don't just like, don't be worried. That is going to be awful. So I, I think I, I could say that he 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 taught, and he he taught by by example, by model, by giving this one. He talking to me about Al Qasim. He said, I have my son wants to go to the UK right now to do the BSD. So I said, why do not let just the Malaysia? Just it. I just I'm talking to him, but he don't, could you talk to him? Sano, maybe he loves you. He just want to talk to you. I said, Prof, I have no problem to talk to this. So today I'm very, very touched and I'm very grateful to IT for organizing such an of meeting and Prof. Dr. Rahmatullah and all of these people who have spoken a good things about these uh, scholars, this, this uh, given Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we call him as Waliullah Azza wa Jal. He was real Wali. People say some, sometimes Wali does not mean some people who are coming from the Islamic field. He was Wali in the area that he was. You could see this one. Whoever had the chance to meet him, you will see in his face. There was a nur. You could see it. I could show you that one. We enjoy. Whenever I just am tough and the situation is just like very, very disturbing, I just over the on the phone. You just speak to him. You will find some kind of solution. When he speaks to you, he will give you hope. And that hope, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Today, the children that he left, the family, we all we should owe him. This man was a great man. This man was a great human being. He was a man of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We should pray for him. We owe him the prayers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. May Allah accept him. He was saying that the, that day he was coming. He was seen his coming, but he prepared for it. And let us pray and never forget him. In our prayers, may he be granted the paradise. With the prophet he loves the most. If all the prophets he wrote about them, we are all to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to him we return. Thank you very much for everything, Prof. Datu, for the occasion. Thank you for the team. And thank you for whatever you have done. And please pray for Farah Malik in your prayer. Don't miss him in your prayer. That one he needs today. Nothing else. Nothing else you could do for him. It's good we have this seminar. But it would be better that we keep him in our prayers. This is Dr. Fatima. May condolence to you and to your children and all people who belong with you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen you. You've been kind to him. You've been real solution. You'll be always to him. He was proud of you. He was proud with your way of handling him. May Allah for, Thank you. for Thank you. reward you all. Assalamu alaikum.